Last month, Netflix put out a job posting for an AI product manager, which went quite viral because the annual salary range was 2 crore to 7 crore. So if you are interested in what exactly an AI PM does, then this video is for you. You might be completely new to the product management role or you are a PM trying to switch to an AI PM role like me. Either way, you need to know these four main topics. What is the AI PM job about and what knowledge do you need for it? How to transition into an AI PM role? What courses and certifications might help you? And fourth, how to identify easy functionalities within your existing products that you can integrate AI into. So let's start with what an AI product manager does. AI product managers oversee launch of an entire AI product or maybe smaller AI features inside your existing product. Now it's super interesting that such a role exists at all today because such roles keep evolving over time. Let's take an example. 20 years ago, there was no UX designer role at all. The developer who used to write the HTML, CSS or the Java applet code used to also take a final decision on how the app would look and feel. But over time, due to the high demand for clean, easily consumable designs, the role called UX designer was born. And now it's an extremely crucial part of product development. Similarly, now AI products might only be 10 to 30% of the overall product portfolio. So it doesn't make sense for all product managers to be involved into AI tasks. But eventually I believe that around 70 to 80% of the product portfolio might be AI relevant. So which means the AI product manager role might get absorbed back into the traditional product manager role completely. What knowledge do you need to be an AI product manager? We'll split this into two parts. One is the regular product management skills and second is the AI related special skills that you need. As a product manager, you are accountable for the entire product life cycle, starting from when the product meets product market fit onto when the product scales and beats the competition and eventually targeting a monopoly. With each product feature launch, you have to avoid the four big risks of value, usability, feasibility and viability. You also need to be proficient at project management and people management skills. You will need to be at the intersection of business, UX and tech. And finally, you will need strong leadership skills to ensure that all the stakeholders and all your teams are aligned. Now beyond these skills, as an AI product manager, you will need to have a strong and deep understanding of AI and ML. You will need to know how AI apps are built, how long it takes to build AI prototypes, how to quickly reach them to the customer and get early feedback, and also how to scale AI features. You'll need strong data analysis skills to collect and analyze data. You'll need a keen focus to identify AI use cases within your product because you have to ensure high customer usage and also make sure that your AI is utilized the best way because AI service usage might end up becoming very expensive if not planned properly. Last but not least, you will need a strong knowledge about the ethical and security implications of using AI because you need to make sure that you are using the AI responsibly as well as in control. How to transition from product management to AI product management in your company. To start with, identify 5 to 10 AI scenarios within your existing product. Focus on the high value customer impact scenarios and don't try to force fit AI into any scenario. One of the easiest ways to integrate AI is either a chatbot or a summarization scenario. You can provide your functional data in your product on top of a chatbot which would be super useful for customers as one use case. Or second, you can provide your large functional data and your customers can easily summarize them any way they want. Pick one or two such scenarios which are low hanging fruits because of generative AI. Try to build a small prototype, maybe take help from your data analyst or your developers for this or you can build it yourself. Now the next step is very important. Evangelize the prototype that you have built across your company. Try to get it to an early customer for feedback so that you can then build on top of that feedback and eventually release it to the public as well. If possible, try to get your role changed from PM to AI PM officially within your company. This would give you the credibility to reach the customers and get very quick feedback as well. How to transition from a developer to AI PM within your company? If you are a developer new to AI, learn basic syntax of Python because most AI courses are taught in Python. Eventually the final production can be in JavaScript or any of your preferred languages because there are enough libraries to support it. Now to switch from a developer to a product manager, you need to learn basic PM concepts. The book that I would recommend is Inspired by Marty Kagan. A few years back when I switched from a developer to a PM role, this book really helped me to understand what it means to be a PM in the first place. Similar to what I mentioned before, try targeting a simple AI prototype, then evangelize it within your company. Once you become the go-to person to lead the AI revolution within your company, you'll have enough leverage to switch roles. How to identify AI use cases within your company? 
you can identify AI use cases either within customer facing products or internal scenario. For customer facing products, try to identify scenarios which have large documents, large videos or large emails. Then try to build a chatbot on top of it to make your customers life easier. The second option is summarization. Generative AI is really good at this. Provide easy ways to summarize large files or large lists, maybe like customer reviews. The third option is improving customer support, mainly first level support, making it much more easier for customers to get their queries resolved. Moving to internal scenarios, engineering teams spend a lot of time writing automation tests to improve the quality of the code. This time can be cut down heavily by AI while also increasing the quality. Similarly, try to find time consuming areas like copywriting, text cleanup or translation, which can be cut down by AI. Of course, to save time, you don't need to start building AI products right away. You can also use existing AI tools to do this. Use tools like GitHub Copilot, Tome, or Reclaim AI to save a lot of time. Free AI courses. The best place to get started would be Andrew NG's deep learning courses. This helped me a lot personally. There are multiple short free courses available there like Basics of LLMs, Langchain, Gradio and many others. Paid certification. I'm currently working on two paid certifications. One is by Duke University which helps you become an AI product manager. And the second is a more general AI exam by Azure called AI 900 and AI 102. I'm planning to attempt both of these courses. So type Azure in the comments if you'd like me to go into a detailed explanation of my experience with it. How to stand out as an AI PM? There's gonna be a lot of demand for this AI PM role because it's the hot new job to get. To stand out from the competition, make sure that you focus on the core AI concepts. Simply adding a generative AI layer on top of your data is a good way to get started, but it will not last in the long run. You need to train your AI application with the right data and also provide a unique personality for this application to stand out. Remember, your AI PM role is only as good as the AI that you build. If you found this video helpful, comment your experience on becoming an AI PM below. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe.